We're here at the New York Historical Society for Chinese American Exclusion Inclusion, the first comprehensive mainstream exhibition of the Chinese American story. Since the exhibition was outlined about three years ago, roughly 200 artifacts were gathered from several museums across the United States as well as from family collections. A distinguished advisory group of about 16 scholars in the fields of history and law helped to develop the exhibition, which provides visitors with a huge variety of mediums through which to experience the times leading up to, during, and following the Chinese Exclusion Act. We have lots of documents from the U.S. Immigration Bureau. We have lots of photographs from many families in New York. We have interactive areas where people can actually um, explore what an immigration station might have looked like and what it felt like to be an immigrant going into an immigration station. Uh, we have graphic novel panels, um, we have uh, musical installations, so there's really uh, a wealth of material. After nearly a century of trade between China and the U.S., the Chinese Exclusion Act, which was passed in 1882 and not repealed until 1943, barred Chinese laborers from entering the country in an effort to quell competition between immigrating Chinese laborers and American-born white laborers. In October 2011, Congress issued a formal apology for the Chinese Exclusion Act and the hardships it caused, but this history still remains relatively unknown outside of the families it affected. It's really a law that comes out of a fear of the U.S. being overrun with immigrants, and it first identifies Chinese as being so foreign that they really cannot become Americans. We wanted to tell that part of the story in this exhibit in terms of how the question of what does it mean to be an American was really raised and confronted in many ways by the China trade, but also Chinese people arriving into this country, and the mixed responses that Americans gave Chinese people. Early United States history often overlooks the contributions of China-U.S. relations and Chinese immigrants to the development of this country since its infancy, which includes anything from the exchange of goods and education to the physical labor that went toward building its infrastructure. This exhibition is the first to illustrate the history of Chinese in America in a mainstream context. I think it's a complex story uh, with various elements to it, how we came here, the experiences that we went through to become Americans and such. It's never really been told to the wider public. And as a Chinese American, I'm very anxious for it to be uh, disseminated. The Exclusion Act is kind of an embarrassing part of American history that's really never been publicly acknowledged or reckoned with. And this is the beginning, I think, of that effort. I think it's only by dealing with that history, grappling with that history, reckoning with that history, that we actually have a chance of learning from it and moving past the deadlock. Chinese American Exclusion Inclusion will run through April 19, 2015. For more videos revealing unknown stories of Chinese America, check out our website at SinoVisionEnglish.net. Reporting for SinoVision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.